Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to look back at iter tools and we're going to look at the product method. It's pretty cool. So alright, let's just jump into it. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us and if you have not yet become a subscriber please click that subscribe button and the notification bell because we don't want you missing anything so all right because um, one important note of how we do things around here is we only talk about one thing at a time so if there's anything that you don't get that we're looking at Let's expand this just a little because this has got some good documentation. We've already talked about it and it's all searchable. So, all right. So, product. Um, this is very cool and a very awesome tool. So, all right. Let's just jump at it. So, it takes, it has an optional and needs at least one argument. And then it uh, creates a product object. But, all right. Let's look at the first one. So you're going to give it a string and then um, a range function. So let's look at that one. For i in product a b range 3. Close that out. Print i. So we give it a string of two a and b then it's going to go one two excuse me zero one two so that's three then it's going to go to the second on the iterable and repeat zero one two now this is the one that i like the most the other one the you know, let's comment this out so all right, for i in product, so we give it we give it three tuples. So this this might be confusing at first, but think about um, what I forget. Another parenthesis, print i. So, all right, let's think about a dial, and it only has two, two, um, two options, and it can either be zero or one. So, all right, so the first setting is zeros all the way across. Then you turn the first one, and you get one. Then you turn both of them, then you go to one zero. Then you turn this one, you get one, one, one. So then you're at your most part, and then you turn it again, but you have to turn all of them. So then you go back to zero, zero, and you have one. Then you come back over here. Think about this as, as an odometer. And then also think about um, if you have just like you have combinations. So if you were to go through, and the way that this works is it's two times two times two is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's two options. And like if you were to do this for um, ones, ones places, so you have z, so if this was up to nine, zero through nine, 0 through 9, 0 through 9, it'd be 10 times 10 times 10. And that is, you get all the combinations that there are. So, all right. Now, this one isn't too complicated, but uh, for i in product, let's just do capital A and then repeat equals three print I 
So it just creates a tuple of how many repeats of the of whatever information you put in there. But all right, so there you go. That is product, uh, the product method from Iter Tools. Just a one little awesome tool that's sitting out there for you. So don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and most important, the notification bell because we don't want you missing anything. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.